Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up Commander with the new, or the newish Windows Terminal. You know, the new and improved Windows Terminal, which is this. Wait, the one that you can use for Windows sub Subsystem for Linux. Um, <clears throat> there's a few reasons why you might you might want to use this. Rather, I mean, there's a few terminal apps now for Windows that's pretty good. There's the Hyper, there's Commander, the new Windows Terminal. There's, there's a few different ones, but I think what i found is if you use the Windows Terminal with Commander, to me that's like the best of all worlds really um, so it's pretty nice it gives you better performance as well than hyper um, so yeah so if you to, to, to do this obviously you'll need a copy of commander so go to cmdr.net and download download yourself a full version of that um, and then obviously you'll need the Windows terminal as well so if you just go to the Microsoft store and type in Windows terminal I'll run a search for Windows terminal so I'll assume that you've got both of those apps installed and, and working um, and then all you need to do, the, I mean, I'm, I got, I should also say that I got this from this blog post. I'm just putting it into video format. It, to be honest, I'm doing it for my own benefit as well because I want to do this on another machine. So it's like a video record. Um, so the first thing you need to do is set up some um, environmental um, or environment variables. So if you just type en, well, it's already coming up there, env, and it brings up this system properties. And then just say environment uh, variables. I've already done it on my system, but you just need to set up two. So you just say new. I think you can you can set them up as user, but I've set them up as system variables. So you just say new, and then you, you need one for commander root. So it just just looks like that, um, and then you you commander root, which is well on your you can browse for it. It's whatever it is on your system. Should also say that this blog post recommends that you don't have any spaces in that um, in that path. So just wherever you put your commander, basically. So on my system, that's in my D drive. So I'll just show you what that looks like. So D drive, um, I think I have it in portable apps, uh, commander there, look. So it's just whatever the root of your commander.exe is. And then you just say okay to that, that's your, that's your first one. And then your next one is this uh, con emu dir, so that's that. Um, and then that just looks, it's just exactly the same path as your, vent, uh, <coughs> as your commander, but with vendor con emu and then maximus5 or whatever it is that. Um, like I say, you can just you can get that exactly from that what I've just shown you. So if you go to whatever your commander is, so um, oops, portable apps, commander, vendor, and it's there. Look, oops, there. So that's what that's what you're looking for. That exe. So you need to two, you need to set up two environmental um, environment. Oh, sorry, system variables. So you've got a commander root and that con emu dir. So that's your first job, and click OK to that. Just make sure and click just get cancel that. And then to make sure that you've set up those correctly, um, you can do a Windows R and just search for these. So you can do, well, you have to put a percent and then that. So if you just do, you know, percent and then the variable and then another percent and then say, okay. And if it opens up commander like that, you'll know you've done it right. If, if you've got spaces in that path, I don't think it'll work. And then if that doesn't, if basically when you run that, do a, sorry, I did a Windows R there as well, a file run. So if that doesn't come up when you do that, you know you've done it wrong. So that's your first step is to set up these um, these um, system variables. Your next step is you just need to make a quick change to the um, one of the settings in Commander. So I'll just open up Commander. Um, so that's in D. In my case, obviously it'll be different for you. Just open up Commander. And then if you just go to the settings, it's normally in the bottom right hand corner, but I've turned it off in there. So I'm just right clicking here and saying settings. Um, and then it's environment and you just need to add this. CHCP space UTF-8 and that just goes in there look and then just say save so that's the only change that you need to do to that then you need this uh, new GUID so you get that by starting a, a PowerShell command so if you just right click over the start button and say uh, Windows PowerShell Admin and just say yes to that and then you can just paste that in so all this will be in the description as well so it's just new hyphen GUID and it return and it gives you, um, I won't do it on mine, but it gives, you, it gives you like a numerical value of this GUID. Again, I'll put all this in the description. And it basically looks, it's that, it's just, it's just this string. So you just copy and paste that out of your uh, out of your Power Admin. So that's that. And then this code I'll give you, um, again, it'll be in the description that you can just copy. So this is just setting up your, your, your settings for Terminal. Um, you can specify, you know, like your background colour, your font, your font size. You can do a lot more than this as well. This is just the basics to get it working. So I'm just going to copy that. Again, all this is in the video description. 
So then, I mean, obviously you won't have commander at this stage, but you'll, you know, you'll just be on the terminal. And then just click the little um, down arrow here and say settings, and that'll just throw you up, open up the settings in whatever code editor you've set up as your default. And then you just copy this, so just take it all seal, and then you'll just, you'll put, I mean, I've obviously got it in it. By default, it'll look like that. So you just put a comma, and then paste it in. And then, if you want to make this your default profile, which is what I wanted to do, because I want Commander to be the default, uh, uh, you know, the default thing that, that, the default way that I used Terminal. So all you need to do is just copy that string that we got from that GUID, um, and just put that there. So that then becomes your default profile. I won't save this, because obviously I've already done it. And then if you just restart the Terminal app, um, and you should find that you've now got the um, Terminal app powered by Commander. Which is quite a nice um, thing to have. Um, I didn't know this actually as well, but the because I've been using Hyper and I just find Hyper as nice as it is, it's a little bit a little bit buggy. I find, and the performance isn't quite what it what what you perhaps want it to be. And I was watching a, a Scott Hanselman video the other night, and he I mean obviously he knows an awful all of a lot more than me on these on these things. And he was he was saying that um, that Hyper actually uses like the Chrome Web Engine to power it. Whereas the Windows Terminal uses DirectX, so it's like a game, you know, so that's why the performance is so much better in the Windows Terminal. And it was when I heard him say that, that I decided to try and get this working. So like I say, I'll just give credit to that blog post as well. Um, I'll link that again in the description as well. So I don't want to take credit for this because I am just copying what, what was in that post and just in video format. So anyway, guys, I hope that um, that helps you um, set up the Windows Terminal with Commander because like I say, it's, it provides quite a formidable, formidable pairing. Okay, cheers guys, thanks a lot.